What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are out of the shop and we are at my body shop. We are going to talk about something that I'm getting done to the Super Duty. And there's only one spot to show you and it's down here at the body shop. All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning in and checking out what we're gonna be doing today. It's that time of year, and I have been getting asked about how do you take care of your truck PTT? Do you guys run it through a car wash? Do you hand wash it? Do you have it ceramic coated? Today, it is getting done. I'm down here at my body shop, obviously, and I'm gonna introduce you to the detailer who takes care of all of the ceramic coats and details on all of our vehicles. Here's the beauty. Here's my man, Wayne. He's got 30 years experience in this. And in this industry, something that we talk about so much about repairing these vehicles and doing the exterior work is what? is prep work. Prep work, prep work is number one. And he's already down here before I got here and has went over, prepped, prepared the whole vehicle, got all of the impurities out. This just came in yesterday. We're working with the R1 coatings, nano ceramic coating. Uh, no science really on to put it on. You gotta use hash marks vertical strokes, horizontal strokes, uh, let those, it sit one minute. Where's those good instructions that you, uh, that, were they up there? Yeah, so what we're gonna be using is this R1 coatings. Wayne has gone and picked this out. This is what he likes to use the most. Um, he's had good success with this. And you guys can see the step one, step two, step three process four and five getting it to the last step where you are going to have to let the vehicle dry for at least 24 hours to get this product to cure into the paint and do what it needs to do i came down here he has already prepped this so the spot the stage he's going to be at now is actually going to be applying the product with this sponge in the directions that it wants you. It's gonna have you do some down strokes, some side strokes, some back up strokes, and, and keeping that three foot size panel uh, area in mind so that we're not allowing it to dry too long over here while I'm over here doing this side. So make sure if you're gonna be doing this on your own that you're gonna separate the different panels of your vehicle to accurately disperse this all over your paint. So once you're done applying it, you're gonna let it dry for uh, about a minute? Is that what One you said? One minute. And then how are we gonna remove this product off of the Super Duty? So you're gonna take a fresh microfiber cloth, get most of it off with the first towel, then you're gonna take the second towel and you're gonna actually buff the rest of it off. He's got some separate towels for the different stages, uh, making sure to keep everything clean and not contaminated, obviously, when we're applying this type of material and coating to the paint. Cleanliness is gonna be number one. All right, guys, I'm back down here after the work. He's done half the truck so far. It looks phenomenal. He did some paint correction, did ceramic coat on this. My man over here, Wayne, is the man you want to do your ceramic coat to. I'm gonna put some links in the description of where you guys can get this done. I am at my body shop here at Bill Brown Ford in Livonia, where we handle all of our details and aluminum repairs for the Super Duties, F-150s, and any aluminum vehicle. He just finished doing the wheels. Oh my gosh. Just finished doing the door jams. Honey, your hair looks phenomenal. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm back. It is finally done. Wayne has done a phenomenal job. We have got ceramic coat 
everywhere on the truck. He did the windows, did the doors, did the roof, the side quarters, running boards, door jams, cleaned up the interior. Guys, knocking it out of the park. Let's take a little walk around, shall we? All right, we got it back down in my neck of the woods, but check that out, you guys. The process that he went over, uh, after explaining to me with his crosshatch pattern, uh, according to the instructions, uh, really worked out well for him. And getting that mirrored finish, he said it lasts three to five years, depending on where and if you're you know, running it through car wash and, and what have you. But uh, I think for overall, I am satisfied. The one thing that does suck is it must have happened down the way back from the body shop is now I have a GD chip in my hood. Like that literally was not there and now it is. Like I, why even have anything nice? Unreal. But uh, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. If anybody's ever had their truck ceramic coated, where'd you go? Who'd you have do it? And how much did it cost? If you guys want to check out my body shop to book an appointment to get your vehicle ceramic coated or detail for that matter, or maybe you got in a wreck and need your car fixed, I'm going to leave that information in the description below so that you guys can check out one of the finest automobile body shops in the state of Michigan. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time.